my channel Natruti Rana and today's video as you can guess is all about my collection of luxury bags and belts. So let's get into the video and I'll pick up one bag after the other in the sequence from when I picked up the first one to my latest one and I'll show you everything. So the first bag of mine which I picked up was this Michael Kors bag and I really really liked it. That time I was going to office and I preferred uh, using really big bags and uh, I wanted to put my laptop in it and my files and a couple of more other things. So I used to prefer using bigger bags that time for my office. This. and this one is brown white and navy blue from Michael Kors it's very very formal and I really loved it so yes this was my first ever luxury bag okay so this is my second bag and this is again Michael Kors it's as big as it's exactly the same size everything is just the same but this is just jet black and again I wanted to carry a lot of stuff back then I used to prefer using big bags which I completely cannot stand right now moving on so so this was my first ever really expensive luxury uh, bag which I bought all by myself after I saved up a lot of money and I started saving uh, post my job. I was working in advertising back then and I barely used to earn anything. I used to go take a metro to office every day and uh, I used to go on the weekends as well and whatever little I used to earn I used to save every penny of it and eventually when I got the confidence that I have enough money to be saved and for myself and I can afford to buy a bag. I bought this one and I really 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 love it. This is really special to me because I bought it all by myself and uh, this has a tiny uh, A engraved on it for Akriti and it's a Louis Vuitton um, Speedy 25 bag and I bought this one with a sling. You can get this without sling as well but since I'm a very sling bag person I picked this one up. Here's a little warning, I'm going to be having a lot of Michael Kors bags. This is another one which I picked up because I find that out of all the luxury brands, this is one of the most affordable brands and you can uh, use these on an everyday basis. So uh, this was the phase when I realized that I wanted to carry uh, smaller bags instead of the big ones because my body width is too less. I carry very minimal stuff with me, only money and cards and my... Uh, phone so I need very tiny bags for it I do not carry anything extra with me for everything else there's always shorter and uh, this one is uh, called uh, the summer bag from Michael Kors it's tiny it's very compact it's the perfect size if you want to carry like a uh, few of important things then this is just perfect and I really really like it I, this is one of those bags which I have really really used after my phase of big bags and yep, I got this one from Tipai. It was very portable from there, not too deep. And yeah, let's move on with the other one. So as you guys must have noticed, I picked up a lot of uh, um, dark bags and I wanted to pick something light. It's very tough for me to spend on bags which are of lighter shades because I always end up liking dark colors or and especially black. Like most of my bags are just black. So uh, this one is from Michael Kors again. It's very tiny and cute and it's pink. And this looks amazing with certain outfits and this was the first time I gathered the guts to buy a bag which was of lighter shape. This again is a very small compact bag and this one was very very reasonable from the airport. So Mumbai airport has a Michael Kors showroom with where you can get uh, Michael Kors for really really cheap and I think it's the cheapest store in the world where I've seen. Wherever I've been to Michael Kors, I think Mumbai airports, Michael Kors has been the cheapest. Moving on, I absolutely loved my speedy bag which was of the darker shade and I really wanted to pick up an LV bag which is of a lighter shade and this is why I picked up this one. This is again uh, speedy 25 from Louis Vuitton but this is of a lighter shade. Basically, I really like this bag because of its size. Whenever I want to go for a fashion week or I'm traveling, I want to put my DSLR in it. None of the other bags could fit the DSLR block properly but this one would so I can perfectly keep my three of my cameras inside this with other stuff in it and it looks really really smart so you guys must have seen whenever I travel I generally uh, carry this one or the other one with me and it just is so perfect the size is so good and I love it okay so moving on uh, these two are the bags which I picked up together and this one is my first really really tiny bag and this has been my most used bag ever 
every day I carry it. I'm not kidding. So this has a very hard leather. It's not very delicate and it's very rough and tough. This is a Prada. It's a very very tiny Prada, but this is like a perfect bag for me. I love bags which are very tiny, very compact, and they just you know are so easy to carry. And I truly do not like carrying a lot of stuff. So this was just perfect for me. I got this one from Milan, so it was really reasonable for me uh, because Prada is a Milan brand. Along with this, I got another brand. Uh, I got Gucci with this one. These two bags I bought together, and this one is a Gucci. I am not sure about the model name right now, but I really, really like it. I especially love the heavy chain this has. It looks really smart. It's very, very dressy. So I would carry it to a party. I wouldn't carry this on an everyday basis. So after this, uh, since I had like a couple of bags, I wanted to buy a nice uh, belt. And this is why I bought this Gucci belt. It's black. This one is not reversible, but uh, it's like a classic Gucci belt with like a thicker buckle. I wanted to buy the thicker buck buckle because I wanted to put it around my waist even with dresses, and it really looked nice uh, with it. Tiny buckle. It looks nice when you wear it with pants, I guess. But I really wanted it to show my dresses, like plain, simple dresses. So I bought this Gucci bag. Okay, so after this, I bought another bag which is very tiny. This one is from YSL. I bought the tassel bag because this is their classic. I really love the tassel. I feel that YSL is not complete without the tassels. Also, I bought this size because I realized that I use my Prada the most, and these are the perfect bags for me. So I bought this exact, almost the exact same bag size and YSL as well. Then I bought this super cute Gucci bag. I really like it because it has like a really nice bow on it and it has this chain right on the top. This is again very very dressy so I wouldn't carry it on an everyday basis. The only thing about this bag is that it's a little tough to use. It's heavy and opening and closing is a little trouble for me. I like bags which are more convenient to open and use. But since it's like a dressy bag, I'm okay with it. I wouldn't carry it every day. So yeah. Moving on to my first really, really, really expensive luxury brand and I really wanted this bag. This was like a benchmark for me and I bought this Chanel bag from London and uh, it's black, it's their classic boy bag but in a bigger size. I surely love this bag, it's a very nice classic bag from Chanel. I looked for it everywhere but I wasn't able to find this colour until like I went to London and I picked this up from there. Then I went to Dubai again recently, I was at the airport and I picked up this Hermes belt uh, which is reversible so I really like it. But this time I made sure to pick up a belt which is not too huge. I wanted something different for my Gucci belt. So I picked this one up and this is black from this side and brown from the other side and I really Really, really love it. It looks very classy. And the last one is this bag which I got from the Dubai airport again. And I wasn't able to find this bag anywhere. I have this bigger Chanel bag, but then I realized I think I'm only meant to have like small bags. So I picked the smaller Chanel up, which is adorable. And again, I didn't want to buy everything black, so I made sure that this time I pick something beige or brown. I really love this bag and I could only find this at the Dubai airport. I've been to so many countries but I never found this color anywhere. They generally have like their fall colors so they would have something dark but they didn't have this. I finally found this at the airport and I made sure to pick it up for my birthday as a gift to myself. So this is my last bag and hopefully these are going to be my last bags because I have plenty of them and I should stop buying. <laughs> So this is it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this was done on popular demand, a lot of you guys wanted to see my collection and I thought like I think I have enough bags to show you guys now and I really am not planning on buying another bag for a long time so I thought of doing this video getting done with it but I'm not gonna let uh, this video go by without doing a giveaway so I'm giving away Gucci Gifty perfume which is one of my favorite perfumes and I've bought one extra for you guys so please check out the description box below and follow the rules and we are very close to 100k subscribers on YouTube finally so please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel, I'm Kriti Rana and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!